The 20th century was an exciting time in America, defined by the development of a manufacturing powerhouse that led to the strongest economy the world had ever seen, and offered consumers an ever-broadening collection of new inventions and products that would change the very way we live. But too often, such progress came at a steep price for workers, consumers, and the environment. Today, a simple mention of the word manufacturing conjures old images of smokestacks pouring billions of pounds of emissions into the atmosphere and workers assembling products in dark, dirty, and often dangerous environments. We are not aware of kind of what it's like today compared to what it was in the past. We often hear people talk about advanced manufacturing, uh, which kind of means that there's also not very advanced manufacturing. Well, the fact is that manufacturing in the 21st century is really all advanced manufacturing. Modern manufacturing has come a long way. Today's manufacturing environment is brighter, cleaner, and safer. These advances in manufacturing technology have included advanced robotics, just-in-time delivery processes, 3D printing, and best available environmental controls technology. The real challenge in the 21st century has now become less about the specific types of new products being created and more about how those products are manufactured and designed. Technological innovation to address these concerns is pouring in from all corners, particularly in terms of software, electronics, and materials. Within that scope of change, though, it is actually chemistry, the bedrock of all advances, that will most impact and disrupt modern-day manufacturing. There's no one silver bullet to solve all the problems that we have uh, in, a, in a generation. What I see is a confluence of technologies that participating together can solve these big global challenges. And that's why everyone's little piece of the pie is very important. So we think about our pie in terms of chemistry. We also like to intersect with, of course, Internet of Things, uh, global technology, resource efficiency. All these things need to work together. Without materials, without material science, without the chemistry and manufacturing, those solutions really don't help solve big problems. A lot of what the advancements in materials in the past you know, 10 or 15 years have been based around advancements in chemistry. It's exciting as a scientist, you're working with a technology that is truly disruptive. You're trying to solve real problems um, in the world. And if you go in there with a brand new product which has potential to better the performance of the existing incumbent technology um, and do it at a cost that's competitive, um, it is what we call disruptive innovation. As a company on the front lines of this revolution in manufacturing, Cirrus is actively engaged in developing new materials and processes with the potential to greatly reduce or even eliminate the use of energy and solvents in manufacturing, leading to dramatically lower cost of production, reduced environmental footprint, and improved cycle times. In turn, these developments could greatly accelerate the onshoring of manufacturing, reduce the need for capital spending, and lead to improved designs and features for the products desired by modern consumers. Our technology solution enables what we think is, again, three things. One, new material selection, because we can reduce energy in the overall facility. That means reducing heat and allowing for new material selection that couldn't be used today because of the heat required to cure those things. Second is energy reduction overall. So again, to cure most coatings, to cure most adhesives, we require uh, this intense heat to drive off solvent and cure these systems to get the clean looking finishes and adhesives that customers demand. And then third is just the overall elimination and re reduction of toxic materials. We call these things isocyanates, melamines, these types of systems that have toxic impacts. And secondarily, in many cases, to apply coatings and adhesives to get the right viscosity, to get the right uh, material science, either as a film or as an adhesive itself, you have to use solvents to get that look and feel. 
our system can completely eliminate these solvents and again create a much more environmentally friendly system for the consumer. Look around, everything's coated. Now if we can uh, create similar coatings that are more benign to the environment and do it uh, low cost enough that we can compete, uh, I find that very exciting that uh, we can possibly eliminate you know, bisphenol A or can eliminate isocyanates, which are carcinogens. They can dial down the temperature of their furnaces and with that they can reduce the energy consumption needed to cure the, the coating. So the room temperature cure allows us to eliminate ovens, plus uh, a lot of energy is expended trying to get rid of the volatile organic compounds and so if we can eliminate that, that that's a big reduction in cost for manufacturing. Being able to use something that reacts at a lower heat might enable you to use other types of plastics which you could not use at this point. So it can greatly simplify manufacturing processes, uh, it can improve the efficiencies and the energy consumption of different manufacturing processes and would end up giving more clean, solvent-free um, and better regulated systems for use. Most of our problems can be solved if the right people got the right passion and sat down and said, this is our problem, this is what we want to change in the world, and did it. And I think that's a lot of what we've done here. Cirrus has made tremendous progress towards solving some of the most complex challenges related to manufacturing. In fact, Cirrus scientists have invented the first new monomer platform in more than 40 years. And today, the new malinate chemistry being developed by Cirrus has the potential to revolutionize the way great products are made. Through a host of proprietary technologies, Cirrus has been able to manufacture, stabilize, activate, and formulate an entirely new class of materials that offer fast cure speeds at ambient temperatures. Combined, these benefits can reduce applied costs by 50% or more through lower labor costs, increased overall throughput, reduced asset downtimes, lower rework rates, and no required heat or ultraviolet light typically associated with the cure of adhesives and coatings. The market is endless, from creating higher absorbency diapers to sleeker computer designs. From lighter weight vehicles to improved healthcare products and enhanced drug delivery, mobile phones can be made slimmer, airplanes can be made lighter, furnishings and building products can be made more durable all made possible by the proprietary and transformative class of materials developed in Cirrus Labs. With an ever-expanding marketplace, countless new potential applications, and a deep desire to further revolutionize manufacturing, Cirrus is advancing manufacturing through chemistry in these early years of the 21st century.